Do you see the way my pants jut up sharply in the back here? Whereas these professionally made pants just have a nice consistent slope upwards. That's why I'm getting this gathering of fabric at the bottom of my tukas here. Um, and I made these many moons ago when I knew considerably less about uh, pattern making. I've uh, since adjusted and altered them a bunch and things have gotten skewed and warped and I'll be honest, uh, they're beyond repair. So I'm gonna start from scratch, make myself some new pieces, and I'm gonna use this exercise as a way to show how I've learned to think about learning to sew. And I'm just doing the top bit of the pants first because I'm mostly concerned about getting the fit right and then the legs and stuff. I mean, that, that I can do afterwards. It's just a general taper down. Uh, one step at a time, you know? One step at a time. And, uh, and that's it right there. It's about breaking everything down into a series of smaller and smaller steps until, until they become manageable. Like I, for example, have taken the time to even just experiment with the curve and the back piece of the pattern here. And what I realized is that having this is a shallow curve, it makes everything a little bit looser in the back and then deepening it and making it a steeper curve. Well, that'll just tighten it all up, you know? Eh, kind of fun. I am putting in a zipper with these uh, sample short slash pants just to give me a more accurate reading of what the final fit of the pants will be. What do you say editing corn? Maybe a, a quick ditty while I bang out this sample here. Well, there is certainly room for improvement. I gotta take out a little bit around here. Um, I want it higher as well. I like my pants high-waisted and then I gotta pull them in along the sides like that. Before I make a new pattern though, I am gonna try out some of these tweaks on the sample first. Well, uh, definitely better. I'm happy with the fit here, um, but I want a little tight around the legs. Uh, I think I can make my next pattern piece now. Uh, I make the first version without the expectation that it's going to be perfect or anywhere near perfect. I just want to get something made so that I have something to work off of. So with these shorts, for example, I can now analyze them, figure out where I need to pull things in, where I need to loosen things, adjust shapes. And then I can take all those steps from iteration number one, adjust based on what I've learned and do iteration number two. And with every single one of these iterations, I get myself one step closer to that final place where I wanna be. I went in three quarters of an inch. So let's do that all the way along. And then I need a pretty consistent taper in here. I found the hips were a bit bubbly, so I'm gonna pull this out pretty dramatically. Uh, I want these things to be high-waisted, so I'm gonna add in two inches. That's the new line there. With the front fly here, I'm gonna taper it in by half an inch. All right, let's bring my pattern up by the two inches, there we go. Bring it in along the sides here. I wish I could claim that this is a technique that I've developed for myself over time, but the truth is it was shown to me by a former colleague of mine. I was given this ordering system to develop for one of our clients and well, coding isn't my forte, but I took it on just because. And, well, once I eventually sucked up my pride and asked him for help, he came, he sat down next to me and he said, okay, well, what's the problem here? I said, well, I don't know how to take this information. It's over here that the customer's putting in. I need it to show over there. 
like, all right, well, well, let's just break it down into a series of smaller steps. And before we, we try to figure out how to get this information and send that over there, let, let's just see if we can send a bit of arbitrary text that we know what it's going to be and ship it over there. And I remember thinking, oh, oh, right, I don't need to do it all at once. I just, I got to understand the steps. It, it's changed the way I think about just about everything in my life. Anytime something's big, it's overwhelming, or just I don't know how to do it, it's just a series of smaller steps. I think I'm gonna add in just a little bit back in through the hips. I really like the width around the legs, not too tight, not too loose. Uh, those butt wrinkles are no longer there, so that's wonderful. But then finally along the top here, I gotta bring it in just a smidgen for my lower back. First, I'm gonna taper out that little bit for the lower back. I'm adding in the extra for the hips to the front panel. All right. I am, however, with this version, adding in my full legs. There we go, that's the back piece. Boom, and that is the front piece. So I did one more sample of the full length pants this time, and I am pleased as punch. Oh, the fit on this new pattern is magnificent. But <laughs> there's a couple minor little details on like the, like the bottom of the pants. I think I want to taper them in by quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, something like that. Uh, in the front here, probably half an inch up, something like that. Um, and that's, that's the final step in my sewing processes. Usually there is a couple minor little details along the way that I know I want to improve, make a little bit better. Don't need to be done, no one would see them, but I know they're there, and that's, that's getting those little minor details right. And so that's how I'm learning how to sew. First, I break everything down into a series of smaller steps until they're manageable. I approach every project in an iterative way until I get it to completion in a way I'm happy with. And then finally go back in and just fix a few of those minor little details only I know about, but you know, make it fantastic.